I am Chris Jelly. And I'm inside a hollow tree of all places on Exmoor. And my mind was here when I wrote this poem. It's called The Less Travelled Path. At dawn's first gasp, the impeccable dew silvers every stem and thread, and across its scissors a single set of laboured and cumbersome footstep tracks. Even though you were the first to pass this way over meadow and spooling web casts, and they lead singular to the hollow tree. And there, dishevelled and fumbling within, crouches the wild god, all bookish and thin. His complexion dull like pawn shop metal, he sighs long and slow as his aches make to settle. Breaches shiny with grease and dirt and blight blooms over the cuffs of his shirt. His soul part bark, part root, part shamble, part whisker of hair, part oak apple gall, part woodlouse rib, part spring blossomed hall. Part of the quiet within a woodland glade, part of the strength which embraces regret, part of the movement of the scythering brook, and overly distraught from the liberties we took. He imbues the courage to remove your shoes, connect to your host with heels and toes, where once you ran feral as a child and scampled the dells and ridge and mires and spun until breath was lost from your chest, hair all tousled, wild and messed, and your family calling words lost on the breeze, their repeated refrain up octaves of pleas to draw you back from this unfitting host. For there you stood upon the brink. It was this moment which cemented the link a space between the shadows and the light of the day, in the gold of the gloaming where the butterflies play. So he ignores you, as you ignore him. For the last time we met, you were naught but a sapling. And now you hear a rattle from his chest as he clips the wings of tiny beetles, and bells clamour from distant steeples, and the gloaming pins this moment bright, and the gods' rough edges are gentle and slight. And the dizzying rage which spins his confusion spores and bolves with an ancient delusion, an indignation of unfathomable depth, with intensity that burns at the core of this wretch. Then the gloaming is gone, and with it the God. For you have been betwixt, beguiled and fobbed, and awareness breaks through with clarity reconfiguring the rank of stark reality, for they were your steps through dew-laden grass. It was you who were the first this way to pass, across this field to the hollow tree, where jurisdiction of tree law presides, and salts and saps convene and imbibe, for it was the wild god who came to comfort and console, prune back the briar to heal up these holes, over the canker of rage as it corrupts and erodes, for life now navigates these less travelled roads. <laughs>